Hello friends, today we are painting this leather clutch with some Harry Potter tattoo art. I did pick this leather clutch up gently used at a really good price, about 4 US dollars, maybe a little bit less. There's a lot of really good areas to paint on the front and the back, but I'm going to focus on the front today. Because I know this is leather, I am going to use the Angelus Direct Leather Preparer and the Glazer. Even if this wasn't leather, I would not skip this step. This is mandatory for any type of leather, pleather, vinyl, etc. And be sure to wear a glove because this chemical could tear up your hands. You see when I lift up the cotton ball, it is removing the factory dye. And this is what I need to do. I need to remove that initial layer of dye and shine so that my Angelus paint sticks to this surface with no problems. These are the images I'm going to paint. They are printed out and I'm laying them out about how I want them to appear on the leather bag when finished. I am using the Sorol stencil transfer paper for this project. If you want to do this freehand, of course, it's a very easy project to do, but I want to do this fast, so I'm going to use this chalk paper to transfer all of my line work. As you can see right here, once I lift off the tracing paper, I have all of my line work. Super easy to follow. Because I did not notice a big discoloration from when I used the Angelus Leather Prepare and Take Laser, I am not doing a base coat today, but I am doing a little bit of a background color, in this case, gift box blue.
What I am doing here is blending in light gray with black. I'm just trying to do a nice gradient from dark to light. Outline time, and I'm using the Princeton Select Size 18 Short Liner and Black. To create the perfect dots, just go with a toothpick dipped in paint. Alright, just one more main block to go. I absolutely love how this looks, but there's a little something missing. So let's add a few tiny details here and there.
Last thing to put is the sealer. I have two choices. I can either use the acrylic matte finisher or the four coat satin urethane finisher. Either one will work great. I will probably use the matte acrylic finisher just because I have a little bit more of it. And this is the complete Harry Potter leather clutch. If you like watching these videos, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, all of my contact information is down below, as with links to all the products I used in this video. Big thanks to Endless Strike for the paints, and thanks guys for watching.